spooky season is here. That means uh, we're going to have Halloween horror-related videos all month of October. Today, we're talking some of our favorite horror scary movie scenes and we're gonna have a series of videos this month uh talking about some of our favorite scenes a lot of horror movies to choose from a lot of scenes to choose from it's hard to narrow it down but we chose uh one each for this first episode so mine is gonna be a little spanish movie called rec or record from 2007 i think i showed mm -hmm. you this this is one of my favorite horror movies in general but also my favorite found footage movie. Uh, after you know you have uh, Blair Witch Project, there was an influx of people doing found footage movies and and you know messing with that with the horror genre. Um, this movie itself was actually remade um, to quarantine, which was actually pretty good. Uh, but this movie it follows a reporter who follows a fire department into like a routine uh, checkup from like a call. They got to like an apartment complex. She has her and then she has her uh, cameraman as they discover. And while they're inside the building, it gets locked down and then they start to begin to notice that people are acting weird and there's some sort of virus or parasite <laughs> And the scene I'm going to talk about, if you haven't seen the movie, go watch it because it's going to spoil it. And it's the ending, the last scene of the movie. <laughs> Who's uh, left surviving is the reporter and the cameraman. They get to like a penthouse suite after getting a key. At this point, they get to this weird uh, apartment, but then they find that it's somebody who's like connected to the Vatican and maybe was supposed to stop this virus, possibly um, demonic possession from this girl. But what makes the scene great is that not only is it like a culmination from an intense movie, they they're only light they had was like the light on the camera and that goes out. <laughs> she's like going around in the dark, not knowing what's going on. This whole time she's like going through, trying to find the light, trying to find the camera. It's terrifying knowing that you're surrounded by that and you can't see your surroundings, but also you know you're like in this weird, creepy room. I don't know, stigmatas or whatever the hell, like bunch of notes on like this virus or like this possession. You know, she's there in the dark trying to find her way and she finds the light. And at the same time, she's trying to like be quiet and not have these monsters like get her. And just the way it's shot, I'm just being trapped in that kind of isolation. It's unnerving in itself, you know, losing your last bit of light and not having that you know the night vision that she was using it was just a terrifying scene overall and then you finally get a look at these weird creature ladies or whatever they are And yeah, that kind of stuck with me and I've rewatched that many times. And it's just an intense, just horrific movie that builds tension really well and definitely one of my favorite movies and scenes. But if you haven't watched it and I just spoiled it for you, but still it's worth watching because it's a good movie regardless. In that scene in particular, what was it that I guess scared you the most? Was it because you're aware that there's monsters that you can see that that person can't? Or were you really like feeling like you were living that character? Like, damn, if that was me. Yeah, um, I think what made it effective was it was kind of like part of you projecting yourself on, onto her and her position mm -hmm. but it was because like how they set it up the camera you can see that she couldn't find it but you knew there was something else in the room with her it was right. like knowing that you saw those weird creatures but she didn't know it was there so it was like holy hell yeah, yeah. like it just felt really creepy and, and from that point of view you kind of felt like you were the cameraman he was always with the reporter and he was there with her so it felt kind of like your conduit to the rest of the movie it was just really tense and seeing those weird ladies too it was... yeah great movie in general mm -hmm. but perfect scene to, yeah. to pick um, but um, what about your scene i don't know if it's scariest i guess you know i'm gonna probably change why and you know my reasons as to why i'm picking specific scenes on a it's weekly just, basis yeah. <laughs> whatever ones whatever scenes um, called us you know but i think one of the more impactful thought-provoking scenes uh in a horror movie is dawn of the dead the remake right was there yeah, one Scott after, was there one after that there, there was one before it. yeah there wasn't one after it though no. But one of the biggest scenes that impacted me one way or another was, so Makai Pfeiffer, his character has a girlfriend or a fiance mm -hmm. and she's pregnant and they're in the middle of this zombie apocalypse, right? Yeah. And they're stuck and in a mall. And if you haven't seen this movie, they're stuck in a mall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're all, like, it's them and a couple other people that, uh, you know, got their way into a mall. And of course, I feel like that would be one of the best places to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because you have 
clothing you have potential food mm-hmm. you have stores and restaurants that have candy and vending machines and all that stuff but the scene i'm talking about is basically they have his girlfriend set up into a nursery in one of the stores mm-hmm. and this older woman has been you know really taking care of her and and, and trying to uh, watch over her when when her man wasn't around <laughs> and um so we find out that she is in a terrible situation because there's no hospitals there's no medicine there's nothing and she dies in the bed and then wakes up as a zombie before the baby is born basically he he, get, he gets put into a position where <laughs> it's like you know th- my whole mission now is i'm supposed to kill all these zombies because they're you know they they are trying to attack me and kill me but now that person that's trying to attack you and kill you is the person that you love mm-hmm. the mother to your child so then he ties her up the next thing you see that the baby is born and the old woman is coming back into the store to check up on her and Mm -hmm. she notices that something spooky spooky is happening and finds out he has a baby in his hand and the girlfriend is tied up and is obviously a zombie so she does what she needs to do points her gun and one of the the best lines in this movie was like something to the effect of you're gonna kill her you're gonna kill my family you want to kill luda you want to kill my family and just that alone is like damn like what do you do in that scenario it's like one person on the other hand is like you know these are zombies we need to kill them they're gonna they don't care about us they don't remember anything Mm -hmm. and then on the other hand it's you know the love of your life and you know your kid like the last the last thing you have (laughs) left to hold on to in in this world that's yeah, just that you're attached you know, to yeah you're never gonna be in this position again most likely you, mm-hmm. you probably think you're gonna die yeah so you know i'm never gonna be able to have another child i'm never gonna be able to be close to the person that i and you know that i care about mm-hmm. because i'm probably dying you know at some point mm-hmm. so you think you hold on to that anyway so there is a shootout that ensues <laughs> because old lady is like bah, 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 bah. old lady she's trigger happy <laughs> she's going in nah, and she, uh, she, of course she gets shot back and it's between her and Mackay pfeiffer mm-hmm. back and forth i think it's one of the most brutal thought-provoking scenes in a horror because it's like you know you're killing zombies left and right and of course you have characters that you care about mm-hmm. in this movie that family aspect of it and you know she did everything that she needed to do to take care of her when she could but mm-hmm. it was like this is over and uh, she didn't care yeah it's because you know obviously it's survival of the fittest kind of thing it's like we have to do what we need to do the old lady obviously was right because it's like she knows she's at the right state of mind at that moment and he's obviously Mm -hmm. not he's just thinking viscerally emotionally because he's attached this is this is kid that you have a zombie baby i I didn't mention that yeah the baby's a zombie baby's a zombie find that out (laughs) damn so it's like baby's also a zombie yeah so it's like you imagine like you were saying you have this gift of life and then it's immediately taken away before it even is birthed is that you know yeah it's it you know you can't have this family that this is not a future that's livable yeah because the whole point of him surviving being as strong as he was was for them so now you don't have a purpose and your whole world is over and this woman just comes into the store and just yeah. ends it for you before they you know you get to you know say your last goodbye or say you know i love you even though she's not technically hearing it but mm-hmm. and yeah and i it, guess she could have stopped for a second and was like you know we need to handle the situation the right way but yeah but he, at that point he seemed very like he was gonna not oh yeah, off let the anyone hilter. approach her it's a girl yeah, yeah so yeah. he was like not thinking rationally yeah and yeah it's it's one of those those things like in in zombie movies especially like they toss in because it's it works it's like yeah. what do you when you have like a family and someone's pregnant you have this world that eventually is going to be unlivable but you're still trying to build from that right but and that that very notion is like your family is vulnerable like what you love most is vulnerable um we've seen things in like walking dead and other horror movies um but it works here too because right. you've built up these characters what makes it worse is that not only they're they're in a zombie apocalypse but they're in like a mall they're already restricted in that sense and you have to figure out how to get out of there and you have limited supplies right. and you, have, you have to think frugally um yeah odds are just stacked against you you know so yeah if that was me i don't know what i would have done i mean it that's a hard decision but i guess I would have thrown you know, my, I'm not going to criminalize <laughs> criminalize myself on this YouTube channel, but oh wait, I did just now. So what'd you say? <laughs> I throw the baby in a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, if it was no, like a movie throwing baby, babies in a dumpster, I was no, just no, like, no, no. would I shoot her? Maybe I would shoot her because you shot first, kind of thing. Well, yeah, if you're, you know, you, you're stuck in this position. Like you, I said, he lost it. Like yeah, he has yeah. nothing else to live for. He probably is, feels like he's going to die anyway. So yeah, that's true. You killed my wife. 
I'm getting back. Yeah, that you know, was, was my last scene. my last mission. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any scenes in particular you want us to talk about or any horror scenes that are your favorite, let us know below. Of course, hit that spooky subscribe button below. We're going to be releasing yes. a bunch of horror and Halloween related videos this month. So thank you for watching and stay tuned.